Hi, Danny Ventura, the Boston Herald. We're here with Pat Shea, forward at Marshfield High School. Pat, a lot of guys say, you know, the way to get noticed by colleges is going, you know, the junior route. You stayed here, and you're a scholarship athlete going to Maine. Talk about your decision to stay here. Well, I mean, I like, I like everyone on the team and the coaches. I mean, Marshfield, I didn't want to just bail on them my junior year. But, uh... I, mean, I don't think it's I don't think it's necessarily true that you have to go prep to get noticed. There's, there's a good amount of people now in the Catholic Conference getting noticed and that way. Now your dad played at Boston College, he's an NHL scout. I'm sure he's given you a lot of good pieces of advice. Is there one thing that he's told you that has always stuck with you? Just give it a hundred and ten percent every shift. That's what I do. As far as Maine, what was it about Maine that sold you? Well, everything about it. I mean, the coaches were great. The style of play they had, and it just fit me. I thought that was where I, should, I was meant to be. How much of an incentive was, you know, you get to the garden, you're so close to winning a state title, coming back and wanting to take another shot at it? Well, losing, then you definitely just, you, right when you lose, you're like, I want, want to get back at that. So, I mean, a def that's definitely something everyone on the team wants to go back and get back at the garden win. What was the experience like playing at the Garden Field? It was awesome. It was, it was like experiencing what the Bruins go through every day, which is kind of cool. Yeah, when you got a kid that talented, is there always a little concern that you might be losing him? Yeah, there is, but uh, having a kid like Pat is, you know, a lot, a lot of kids are coming out of high school, you know, getting their com getting college commitments coming out of high school. And he's a perfect example. He's had a great year for us. He's a great leader on and off the ice. Uh, he's a coach's dream. You tell you tell him once what to do, and he's gonna do it. And you know he's he understands the game. When you look at him going to the next level, Division One, what is it as a coach when you look at him? What is the intangible that you know leads you to think that hey, this kid is, is a Division One player? He's probably the smartest player I've ever coached. He's always in the right spot, offensively, defensively. He's got great vision. You know, he just understands the game like no other kid I've had and uh, no other kid I've really seen, too.